Okay, welcome back. On this video, we're going to talk a little bit more about options. Uh, you've always been familiar with options throughout life, right? We, we have options day to day, things we, you know, are proposition to do. Would you like to go play basketball? Would you like to go to the park? You know, you got options. You can say yes, you can say, well, not right now, maybe later. You know, options are good. From a stock option perspective, this is the definition of a stock option. And you tell me how similar that is to life options. A right, but not the obligation to buy or sell an asset on or before a specific date at a specific price. That's a stock option. So you have the option just like that in life to make a decision about things that are involving you and your time, right? Now, there are two types of uh, options I want to share with you today. One is called a put option. The put is the right to sell. And the other is a call option. That's the right to buy. And options don't just apply to stock. They can also apply to any other investment or opportunity that we'll run across in life, like land, uh, movie scripts. There's a variety of people who don't buy the movie, they just buy the option so that if the movie is good, then they can uh, actually buy the movie later and, uh, you know, sell that movie at a higher price to another buyer because or to be able to actually control that movie because they've had that they've taken out the option in case of right it's not the uh, fact that you're going to it's the right but not the obligation to right so think about that when you uh, look at life and look at buying something do you want an option or do you want to just have to do it? You know, do you want to have to go to work or would you like an option, right? Would you like to have a business that would allow you to generate enough money so that you wouldn't want have to work? So that's an option that you would create, right? And chances are, if you're able to create an option that will generate uh, more money than you working for someone else, you probably wouldn't work for someone else, right? You probably would just do that because time is very important. So if you spend all your time on the job, then you're not really able to grow your business the way you would like or as fast as you like because you don't, there's only 24 hours in a day and you, you, if you put eight hours on a job, you can probably only put four hours, three hours, two hours, one hour on your business, right? Just depending on what type of business you uh, would like to, to grow, right? And a quote that I always liked, and I want to share that with you, it says, uh, when it's in line with options, is that whenever someone uh, says that you have an option, that's never a bad thing. <laughs> that's always a good thing, right? It's when you don't have an option that that's a bad thing. So as you're going through life from here on out, as you're dealing with situations and people and, you know, uh, circumstances, always look for an option. Always take with you options so that you don't have to do what you don't want to do. And as you continue to trek through life and the day to day, what you will find out is more and more opportunities will come your way. And as those opportunities come, you'll be able to select which ones you want to uh, partake, right? Because some of those will be good. Some of those will be very beneficial for you. But some will just be time wasters, right? You have to be able to identify that. You have to be able to uh, be comfortable with saying no to people who see you as someone that they want to grab onto and go with you, right? Because they're actually seeing you make moves that they would like to make. And... A lot of times what will happen is that uh, when you say no, they'll want to disassociate with you because you didn't say yes. They don't even understand that, you know, it's not necessary that uh, they understand. It's just necessary that you understand, you know, and, and you don't necessarily have to be necessarily have to be doing it in a ma ma malicious or, or mean spirited way. 
you just don't have all of that time anymore and you really don't have to explain why you don't have time for that, right? And if they don't understand that, they won't understand if you, you know, sit them down and, you know, A, B, C it to them, right? So you have to know where you're going. And if you know where you're going, then they'll catch on or they won't. It's not really necessary that they catch on. But it's necessary that you have the confidence and the ability to move forward with what you're doing and don't stop. And before long, you'll see the success of all the seeds that you planted and the harvest will begin to grow. And when that happens, you have to be wise enough not to become a, um, a consumer. Don't, don't just go out and spend the first $25,000 you made. Don't just go out and spend the first $100,000 you made. No, reinvest that back into your system so that you can grow it and you can become stronger, you can become solid. That's why my company teaches you how to set up the foundation of your business. If you don't understand the foundation, the foundation is major. It's major. You, can, you can't grow anything without a solid foundation. So if you don't really know all the moving parts and you have difficulty understanding how this works with that, and you know, then you really need to spend a little bit more time with that before you decide to move on or move up, right? I hope you're enjoying these videos. My name is Larry James. My company is speakwithlarry.com. And as always, share with someone else what I've shared with you.